hi guys welcome back to my channel so i just want to thank you all for you know the support the love yes i want to thank you all you know oftentimes we fall into situation that cause us to start over maybe in a relationship maybe it's a case where you are in a job and you have to you know ch change things up a little shift the atmosphere and you know oftentimes when we start over it is rough it is a challenge when you have to start something over again and so to i just want to encourage you and some pretty interesting quotes here that i want to watch the intro guys watch the intro i'll be right back yes. Blue course, I tell us it. Bless, 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 bless. You will shine like every day. Every day. Every day. You're protecting in every way. That's why I'm missing your bless. That's why I'm missing your bless. The unblessed. Better than the rain. Yeah. Better, better, better. Whoa, whoa, yeah. We say you're blessed. Keeping it real. The unblessed. The unblessed. I hope you like that today, guys. I hope you like that. So, I want to say, starting over is not easy. It is like one of the most difficult things to do, right? And it is very important. But sometimes. The process can be very tedious. You get scared. You get so, I don't know. Sometimes your mind is telling you that you cannot do this. But I want to tell you that you need to have courage and faith to start over. So I have chosen three scriptures today. I have chosen three scriptures for you today. And these scriptures will give you renewed strength. You know, sometimes you feel so out of it. It's like you don't know where to turn. You don't know what to do. But when you turn to the word of God, something happens. Something happens when you turn to the word of God. And so... I want you to follow me. The Bible says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. That's the word of God. That's the word of the Lord. So it does what what the scripture is telling me that it doesn't matter what situation I am going through, what burden. What distress I am going through. It is light. It is light. It is a light affliction. And it is only for a moment. It may seem or it may be happening for you for uh, here. For another person for five years. But the Bible said it is only for a moment. So there is still hope. And I always hear this saying that they said, from you have life, there is hope. Growing up, I always hear that. So there is hope. It may not come to an end today. The stress, the, 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 the emotional trauma, right all of these things that are hindering you from reaching your full potential may not come to an end instantly but the word of god said it is only for a moment so let's jump into these scriptures right now guys and our first scripture comes from lamentation 3 verse 22 to 24 it said because of the lord's great love 
we are not consumed for his compassions never fail they are new every morning great is your faithfulness i say to myself the lord is my portion therefore i will wait for him wait upon the lord guys wait upon the lord it doesn't matter what you're going through there is hope there is strength in the lord take it to him in prayer you see prayer and fasting is something that we should make a part of our daily lives we should make this a part of our daily life and sometimes we fail we fail because you know humanly things will happen you wake up in the morning and you say you're going and fasting and boy oh boy everything starts to smell delicious but we have to trust god and our next next scripture comes from john 13 verse 34 to 35 it says a new command i give to you love one another as i have loved you so you must love one another by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another <laughs> you know that one is strong right that one is very strong because the, the, the time that we're living in, persons don't love each other anymore. Step on them, can on them, don't you? So guys, the word of God says we are to love one another. Love. And that shows that you are his disciple <laughs> guys i'm laughing i'm laughing because i've noticed that persons are not interested in loving one another but we want to love god right <laughs> oh be unto us we get up every day and we say lord will love you jesus will love you but you see, the person who stands beside you, the person who works with you, the person who, you know, you pass on the street every day, you have no time to love them. And so I say to you, love your brother, love your sister, love the person who curse you, love the person who hurt you. Show love. And our next scripture comes from... Our next scripture comes from Isaiah 43, verse 9, 18 to 19. Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. And it says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in your wilderness and streams in your wasteland. <gasps> Why? Do not dwell on what? What did the word of God said you should not dwell on? Do not dwell on the past. So do not be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to take up yourself and brush it off and go right at it again. Do not be afraid because the word of God said, He who is making a way for you. Push forward. Push yourself forward. Pick up yourself. Brush off yourself. And let's go again. Be renewed. Be renewed. And I ask of you to just read these scriptures. Read these scriptures. Do not just listen to what I say. Read them. Meditate on them. Because if you're not in the position where you need to start over, 
remember the process can be a tedious one and you might need strength so remember guys to like to share comment and subscribe if you have not yet done so click that notification bell so you will get my video notifications when i post a new video peace out love you guys